Kellen Doran Ballard has had an incredible career, achieving almost every imaginable goal in bowling. But ever since she won the title in 2001, another Queen's Championship has eluded her. She is the number one seed tonight and needs only to win one match for her second Queen's title. And it begins now. <laughs> Welcome inside the International Bowling Training and Research Center in Arlington, Texas, on the campus of the United States Bowling Congress. This is the USBC Queens. Hello again, everybody. I'm Dave Lamont. Thank you very much for joining us, and you are in for a treat. This is one of two women's majors on the calendar, and the field is sterling. Let's meet them right now. Hi, I'm Josie Ernest, the number five seed from Nashville, Tennessee, and Vanderbilt University. In the first match, she bowls me, Liz Johnson from Cheektowaga, New York. And the winner of that match faces me, Deandra Beatty from Chicago, Illinois. The semifinal match will be the winner of that match versus me, Stephanie Nation from Grand Prairie, Texas. And for the championship match for the 2012 Queens Tournament presented by Storm, the winner will meet me, CDB. It's the classic stepladder format. Who has the advantage? Does Carolyn Doran Ballard have it because she waits and only has to bowl one match? Or is it better to try to run the table as Liz Johnson and Josie Ernest will have the opportunity to do? As always, I'm delighted to bring in my partner, Chris Barnes, multiple titleist on the PBA Tour and holder of many major championships. We've got such experience here, past champions in Liz and Carolyn, and three players seeking that first major. Well, we're going to see first Josie Ernest. She's won at every level. All she did in her first Queens is make the TV show. But later on, we're going to see Deandra Asbady. And she's been part of Team USA for the better part of 10 years, and she's been on this show as the leader before. And the number two seed, Stephanie Nation. All she did was be the leader and average for the whole field. Number one seed is Carolyn Doran Ballard, and she is over with Kathy Doran Lizzie, who's our lane side reporter tonight. Kathy? No stranger to TV, you again? Well, 11 years ago, you were in the same position. You led the Queens. You won it that year, but it has been 11 years. The game has changed. Have you? Heck no. I mean, look at me. Come on. Do I look like I've changed? No. Uh, yeah, a couple things have changed. Uh, I've had a daughter since then, so my priorities have changed a little bit, but my competitiveness is still there, and I'm willing to change with the game, and I've made some changes to bowl well this week, and hopefully I can continue for one more game. Going to teach these girls some lessons? Absolutely. Heck, I could be their mom, for God's sake. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. Back to you, Dave. All right. Thank you both very much. In case you didn't figure that out, they're sisters. Chris, take us through the lane conditions here at the International Training and Research Center. Well,